I'm back you guys and today we're doing a full drugstore look. I went into Ulta this past week and you know Ulta has like a, that bomb little drugstore section and I was like, we be sleeping on the drugstore makeup. I'm doing a full look. Nothing here is over $15. Um, I don't even think anything here is $15. You don't have to spend a lot of money to get your makeup to do what you want it to do. You just have to have the right technique, know what look you're going for, um, and then just execute it. So I'm gonna leave you some tips on things that I think are dupes for higher end products. Also, some techniques that I use that I feel really help me achieve this look um, and achieve any look with drugstore makeup or just makeup in general. Thank you to everyone who entered the giveaway. Um, I had a lot of fun doing that. I liked talking with you guys. Y'all are, look, y'all are a bit much, okay? But I'm a bit much, so that's okay. If you ever have any questions or just want to say hey, leave a comment. I will always, always get back to you because I mean, who am I to not respond, you know? If you're not already, you should be following me on Instagram and Snapchat. My name is Niara Alexis on both of those platforms as well, but I usually ask questions on there about what you guys wanna see in upcoming videos, um, give you a little peek into like my regular, like everyday life, you know, I'm regular, schmegular, degular girl. Okay, so you'll get a peek into what I do on a daily basis. I make a lot of stories too. So I'm gonna stop chit chatting, I'm gonna get to this look. So if you're interested in seeing how I got this situation with drugstore makeup, then just keep watching. If you have dark circles or dark spots on your face, an orange corrector will really help get rid of that under your makeup. I'm sure you guys have noticed by now, I use multiple colors of concealer. The first layer is usually always just to get everything to be even. Then the last layers are usually colors that I'm using just to brighten. I've never found one concealer that does everything that I want it to do. So I use multiple colors to achieve that bright under eye look and highlighted look on my face while still having everything match. I don't really bake when I set my under eye concealer, but using a damp beauty blender to apply that powder, whatever you're using to set, can really just make it look more natural. The biggest tip is to tap off any excess eyeshadow or face powder. Anything off of your brush, just tap it before you apply because it can really mess up your makeup if you're applying too much product at one time. I'm still getting the hang of this eyeshadow thing, but one thing I found that works for me is when applying my lid colors, I like to use a tapping motion. I feel like it just packs the color on a bit better, and then with my outer corner, I'll brush it a bit more because I want it to be more blended. I've told you guys about this orange brush before. This is a Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. It blends your makeup so well. If there is one single thing I recommend everyone having, it's that brush. <laughs> 